I wore my yoga shorts today because I don't think the general public would want to see what I would normally wear in the pool. I don't know, for some reason I tend to only blog when I have to come into the city. That is what I'm doing today. I got my bike. I got a new basket, do you see that? It's ginormous, but it's got these extra things. It's supported, so it's not gonna break, and I can carry a lot more toys. Many people have suggested that I get one of those baby carriage things. I'd be in trouble. There'd be like piles of toys in a trailer. Not a safe thing to do. My hair is so funny. I don't know why I don't videotape me cutting my hair. It would probably make a really good vlog. It's always a very stressful situation for me. And whoa, whoa what's this? There are dinos down here. I really want to climb on them. I've been biking by them whenever I come down here. I always want to stop. Ideally, I would climb on them. I mean, I'm a little early, but I'm not that early. Maybe one day. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to climb on the dinosaurs. I really like these bike ride mornings. It's like nice to be in the sun. The weather's really nice. I get to listen to music. I never listen to music. Like when I am at home, I am just always busy on the computer, like basically just toy looking, toy editing, toy searching. I spend a lot of time on the computer, but I also love going for bike rides in the summertime. So another reason why toy hunts are so fun for me is because I get to explore neighborhoods and see new areas and be out in nature in the sun. And I love the beach. So anytime I can get near the water, it's very important to me to live near the water. My arm is hurting. It's my shingles arm. I should update you on that. The apple cider vinegar, I've been being quite religious with applying it and it's doing quite well. But these are really deep scars, so they're gonna take a long time to heal. What was I saying? This is my only time to listen to music. I have to go up this giant bridge. Music used to be a huge part of my life, and I have some bands that I really, really love. Music is just something that's so powerful, it can change your emotions instantly. One day I'll get into depth about which bands I listen to and what music I love the most. I moved to Toronto in 1999, so I've been here quite a while, and I've pretty much lived in every neighborhood. I'm a downtown kind of guy. Well, I guess I'm not a downtown kind of guy because I don't have my driver's license. It's very convenient for work to be downtown, but I also really like to get away. I once had an apartment in New York and I lived in Wall Street. At first I was like, oh, I kind of want to be in the heart of the action, but New York is actually really small. And it was nice that there was this area that was quieter and I could get away. There were trains to every place you wanted to go. It was really easy to get anywhere from there. It was kind of an ideal situation because it was as peaceful as New York can get. New York is strange for me. Almost slightly disappointed because I always knew it as the city that doesn't sleep. But it does. Like, I used to go out at night and, like, I'm not interested in clubs and drinking and stuff, which is a big part of New York. But the city does shut down. I mean, there's a few places that are open and stuff, but they're few and far and in between. And it's pretty quiet at night. And again, I guess I really did like that time that I had. New York, I would just walk. I never had a bicycle in New York. I would walk from top to bottom quite often. Now that the giant Toys R Us is gone in Times Square, there's no reason for me to be there. For the same reason that I don't like to wear a shirt, I also don't like to wear sandals when I'm biking because it just feels free. And I like to feel the air and the sun on every part of my body as possible. It just feels good. I'm not trying to show off. If anything, I'm embarrassed by how I look. It's all about being comfortable and happy. Don't you think? When it starts to snow, I'm really gonna miss these commutes because of the music and because of the beautiful sunny weather and stuff. For the most part, Toronto has great weather and I get to bike for most of the time. Last few winters have been quite short with little snow. I'll rock the bicycle throughout 
that time. It's like really hard to get from my house to downtown just because I have to take a few different public transportations. It also takes a long time to get your license in this city. Like I think it takes a year or something. You know what? There was a cop car. I had to not do that. Yeah, I'm probably going to take an Uber. I'm super cheap. I'll take the cheapest possible alternative any day, but I probably should, especially if I'm coming in for a job. I'll just deduct it as part of the cost. It can't be that much. $20? I don't know how often. It'll be probably once every two weeks. So, yeah. I really do love my bicycle. It's super cool. Look at the size of that basket. I'm having chain problems though, my chain keeps falling off. I'm gonna do a switch up, I'm gonna put on a new chain and replace this cog in the back wheel and so my chain can go down a link and I will see if that fixes it. Right now it has an additional link on it. It's a long story, I'll get into that one day too. So I'm like a half hour early so I'm just gonna wait down by the train again. I like it down there. I hear a train. So I did buy a lot of toys today. Well, not too many, enough to fit into one bag. But I just went to Value Village Savers and I found some things that I have to get. I have to get these Care Bears for sure. The hugs and tugs are in there, so awesome. Now, I have most of these other things, so I don't need more McDonald's. Oh, the strawberry shortcakes I'm gonna get for sure. I have the Fraggles, I guess, most of and I don't need the Garfield. I think none of this stuff is really worth that much money. Now, people do mention the Cabbage Patch Kids all the time, but I don't really like how they look, and I don't think they're worth very much money either, so I'm gonna put them back. The Sesame Street thing I'm struggling with, but I don't really like the designs. There's a few Sesame Street figures mixed into these bags. More Cabbage Patch Kids. California Raisins as well, which I'm also tempted with. But I can't get everything. Look, they're Snuffleupagus. So, yeah, I think I'm putting back all of the McDonald's toys. I hope I have this car. I'm not sure I do. Maybe I should just get this set. Oh, but there's also these Disney figures. I forgot about those. I think I have to get those because that Donald looks really cool when he comes in this truck. There's also a Goofy and a Mini. Okay, so that's my decision. I will get both of those bags and then that also gives me the Fraggle cars. I also have to get this guy. Okay, I answered my own questions for me. Hopefully somebody who also likes cool toys comes and finds these ones. So today I think I was so excited about my Value Village find, all those vintage toys, that I left my bags in the aisles, walked away. I do this all the time. I should dedicate a video to that as well. So I'm standing in cash. You know, I have my phone, which is so weird that I have that in my hand because usually that's in my bag and I leave that. But my wallet was in my shopping bags. Anyway, I realized that my bag is missing. I run back to the aisles. There's this little girl going through it, pulling out all of the blind bags that I found today, showing them to her little brother. Her mother's standing right next to her. I came over and I said, uh, those are my shopping bags. I don't know if I grabbed them out of her hands and put them in my bag. Children stealing toys from a grown man. I didn't take any videos in the stores today. I don't really know why. I guess I was trying to get through it fast. That was pretty good. There were some great prices and I didn't get everything. I did get a lot though. Not too much. There's not too much there. There was a parcel waiting for me, but 
before we open that, uh, I think jump in the pool. Say something. It is nature. Nature. Oh, he's back. That's so funny. I'm not a big jump in the pool kind of guy. You kind of like ease yourself in. I don't like to be too dramatic. Okay. So here's the thing. Oh, shingles. I like to wear my flip-flops in the pool because they will clean them. I'm kind of dehydrated. Okay. S children. Shh. They're gonna take my toys. Okay, so today I had this craving. I uh, know, today I did not have a craving. It was a really hot day, and I thought, oh, some frozen berries would be great, be like a summer treat. But I said, you know what? I don't need anything sweet, and that is so rare for me. So I said, I'll have baby carrots. They're still sweet, but they're a vegetable, and they'll give me some energy for the bike ride home, the hour bike ride. And they didn't have any baby carrots. Well, actually they did, but they had a huge bag. They had organic radishes, and I thought that was awesome. I love radishes. So I bought those instead, so even better, because zero sugar. Okay, the reason I'm cutting out sugar is because I want to lose all body fat that I have. I know, I know. It's kind of an experiment. It's kind of like, that's the aesthetic that I want. I also want to stop this candida kind of thing that I have going because I crave sugar and I have a lot of other symptoms of candida. I'm foggy, thus leaving things, losing phones and my bag and my wallet and dropping stuff. All of that stuff can be related to candida as well. So I want to try that and I also want to, I want to I want this to be more, <laughs> more defined. The lighting's really good right now. Normally, it, and I have a big butt, and I think all the fat is in my face and in my butt. I just want to experiment and see. I think you get into a place where your body stores fat, and you have to do some drastic measures before it will get rid of it. Like, it just, it just hangs on to this bit of fat. But I want to see if, when the fat goes away, if I can go back to eating apples and bananas. I really want to eat bananas and eggs in the blender. That is kind of my favorite meal to have. I believed that you could eat as much natural foods as possible, like fruits and dates, and not, I'm not talking about bread or anything. I'm talking about things that you could pick off a tree and eat. But I tried once, and I actually did lose weight by cutting out dates and bananas. I want to see what happens, and then I'll slowly wean myself back on to, ideally I would love to have just a fruit diet, it's my favorite thing to eat. I could just eat melons and bananas and apples and I'd be happy just doing that. I wouldn't even need any meat. So maybe I will try that too. And I hear once your candida is gone, even though candida is kind of a myth for some people too, but once your candida is gone, you can have a fruit diet without it growing back. So that is the health segment of today's vlog. I wore my yoga shorts in the pool today because I don't think the general public would want to see what I would normally wear in the pool. Oh, the, the butterfly attacked my head. Oh, <coughs> butterflies are attacking. And then after all that, I'm having apple cider vinegar. I wonder if that counts. So that's processed, isn't it? It's raw. It's a raw food product. It's supposed to be good for you and stuff, but it's antiviral and it's working really well on taking away my shingles. You can't drink enough water, guys. Mm. All right. Can I have a little privacy, please? I think I have enough footage that I shouldn't include the toy haul. I'll do a separate video for that, and then that way anybody who doesn't want to see my toys doesn't have to. I don't know why you wouldn't want to see any toys.
Are you still there? 